right. So, so I'm glad you, you obviously answered the challenge against Carolina. How, how much confidence does that give this team knowing how good uh, Florida has been, especially at home? Well, uh, they're, uh, they're a good team, um, but we obviously played uh, our, um, like, probably best in, like, it's been a while, but it, that was our, like, best game. So, and uh, we got to take it from there. Um, and, yeah, it's obviously, it's a big challenge for us today. So, it's a very good team. They had a, like, full lineup, so we got to be ready. And you said uh, you've got to take it from there. Do you do you think it's going to take even another level as well as you guys played against Carolina? Does it take another level against this Florida Panthers team? Uh, yeah, we. Uh, I would say we, sh we should be better eh? anyways uh, every day, like every game, every practice. So we got to like build ourselves uh, and uh, level up like uh, every game. So we got to do that. It's a, it's a way to success. How much uh, of playing teams like this who are having really good seasons uh, brings out the best in the Blue Jackets? Um, well, it's always good, but it's, uh, like I said before, it starts from us, so uh, we, we got to be better anyways. And, uh, yeah, like I said before, it's a good challenge today for us, so very good team. Florida scores a lot. I think they're the second highest scoring team in the league. Uh, is there a is there a secret to try and slow those guys down at all, buddy? Well, it's uh, no secret at all. You got you got to be aware of every shift. Uh, got to be concentrated and uh, do your job. So it's it's not a big secret to be honest. Uh, you you got to do you you got to try your best and do your job. So uh, they are they're like I said before. They are a good team. They have a couple of good snipers and players who can uh, make a difference. So you got to be ready. Very good. All right. Thanks, Vlad. Yeah, thank you. Okay. We'll go to Brian Hedger. Go ahead, Brian. Hey, Vlad. Hey. Um, how are you? Good. How are you? Doing good. Um, hey, listen, uh, Lars, the past couple of days, uh, was talking about that last game and how just the feeling of, you know, being on the bench, the energy, uh, and just kind of the energy you guys had, you know, from start to finish in that game, he thought that was really important for you guys to kind of just feel that, you know, for a whole game against a really good team. How important can that be going forward, just knowing how you have to play and, and how it can be? It's always fun to win, right? And uh, especially to start from the bench. Um, we had a lot of energy and a lot of juice in the last game, so... Uh, should be like that every game. Uh, we didn't play well on the road, but uh, it's time for the start, I would say. Yeah, so, yeah. Uh, and yeah, it's uh, like, it's always bringing something from the bench, like every hit, every good save or, or a goal, doesn't matter. Uh, and the, the guys who is playing on the ice right now, he like charging from the bench, you know, and uh, everyone got to be involved. Yeah, you know, and, and you're a, you, well, you're a veteran now, I would, I would say, um, and, and you have some veterans on the team, but this is a young team. How important was that from that aspect, you know, for young guys to, to get some confidence and say, hey, we can do this against teams like Carolina? Uh, it takes a while, you know, uh, especially for the young players, but uh, they, can, they can see right now uh, how, it's, uh, how it can be if everyone will start doing your job. And uh, everyone like working on 100 percent, so it's it's coming from the game, anyways. And uh, now they can see that. Yeah, are you seeing Chinakov in particular uh, start to gain confidence and and you know get to areas where he can he can be a factor? Well, he finally started scoring some goals. Uh, it's good for him. I'm so glad for him. Um, he started he's starting better on the ice, like when on the puck. It's uh, more important now for him. Uh, try to learn the like little details of the game and uh, he tried to adjust it uh, yeah he, he's just got to keep going it's what I can say he finally got some confidence uh, he had like he had uh, some moment for the score before but he didn't score for some reason and uh, now he's going to be better than that yeah and that can be kind of frustrating for a young guy right who, who is a goal scorer yeah, of course. Of, of course. I mean, if it's your uh, 
first season and uh, you had like so many chances to score a goal, but it didn't. It's kind of frustrated you, but uh, you got to be like successful and uh, keep going and add no matter what. Try to try to score, try to do your job, and especially you know the park play good defense and uh, you after that you can get rewarded. Are you, gonna, are you working with them on goal celebrations? Uh, yeah, kind of try to do that. You could see that the last <laughs> game. So, <laughs> thanks, Vlad. I appreciate yeah, it. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Okay, next we'll go to Mark Shai. Go ahead, Mark. Thank you, Glenn. Vlad, just you've played with a couple different young defensemen this year, Andrew Peak and, and Adam Boquist. Just from the beginning of the year, it seems like that they've made strides in their game, you know, developmentally wise. How much better have they gotten? over the course of the year in your site? Um, they, uh, they improve yourselves. Uh, I'm glad to see that. Like, uh, and uh, Bo and Peter, they, uh, they play very good, like game by game, step by step, starting for the practice, you know, I've seen, I've seen them like before, uh, like mostly Peter, not Bo, but uh, I heard more, uh, heard about the ball a lot uh, from, uh, from guys who play with him. So, uh, I'm already knew he's a big defenseman, so I'm glad to see they're um, they're playing good and uh, they are important part right now of our team. All right, thanks, Vlad. Thank you. All right, looks like all the questions we have. Thanks, Vlad. Thank you, guys. Have a good day.